Hello, fellow robots out there in internet land. I am Sopatron, uh, and welcome back to the next episode of Titancraft Season 6 here on Tango Tech's Patreon server. And as always, guys, if you want to join me and this amazing community, all the information you need is down in the description for Tango Tech's Patreon page. Sign up, join new people literally every day. Every day. It's been nuts. It has absolutely been nuts over the last few weeks. Um, but yeah, we're starting off where we left off, kind of, because last episode... Uh, should have been the episode that took me a very long time to make, and that was me pranking Cable. It was great. It was amazing. But I'm actually recording this before that episode comes out, because time is weird like that, guys. Just deal with it, okay? Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. Um, so, I, like, yeah, time-wise, it's before that episode comes out, but that episode will be out by the time you're watching this one, so, you know what? Don't, don't worry, don't worry yourself about that. <laughs> just enjoy what, what's about to come today, guys. So, uh, we're starting off in, uh, the actual last episode with, like, any kind of base content in it, uh, you know, our redesigned furnace room. And we're here because I just love being in here. It's, like, so similar but so different at the same time from the rest of our base uh, that it's just, it's really cool. So if you haven't seen that episode, it, it's episodes ago at this point, guys. Just go back and look for it. It's awesome. I did make a little tweak to fit some stuff with our hallway because I did finish doing this, kind of. I still want to do something here. I just don't know what yet. Uh, I added more lava into the walls just to make... Uh, I need to do something about that. that. There was a water stream literally behind this. So I really couldn't do much. Uh, maybe I can replace... Is that a glass? I can probably replace that. I'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think this place looks great. I really love the stairs. The walls, eh. It's, it, it is what it is, but these stairs are looking great. Uh, but yeah, we are going to leave this project today, and we are actually going to work on our mines today, guys. We're at least going to start them today, and I just realized I have no stone on me. So let me head down into our storage system. Um, so I've done a little bit of work in there, uh, laying some stuff out, measuring things. I need a ton of stone, though, for what I have in mind. Um, I've never done a mine like this, so you got to envision a really big open pit mine, except it's going to have a roof on it because we're dwarves underground and crazy shenanigans. Uh, so I've kind of capped everything off in here. Before, this place was like a giant void back here. Uh, that's not a pick. That's a pick. There we go. So the void is there. I just put up a ton of... And I don't have stone on me now. Good job. Um, I just put up a ton of walls. I went, you know, floor to ceiling walls in case, in, in case this whole thing here. And I also started, like, a makeshift staircase. Uh, but what I want to do down here is I want a nice circular room, uh, which is why I've done that down there. That kind of is a 51 uh, in diameter circle. So we're using the exterior walls as our, you know, outer blocks on it, and then everything else is encompassed in. But I've been, like, thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get this circular kind of open pit mine uh, going? Um... Because I know where I want to start. I know I want the stairs to be right here. But I don't know where I need to start the stairs down there. So the easiest way for me to do this would be to work from, you know, top down. But there's nothing to build again. So I can scaffold up from the bottom, which I really don't want to do. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I know that at the widest of this mine is going to be that circle there. I want it to kind of get shrunk in as it goes. So the staircase kind of spiral down and get tighter and tighter as they go. Uh, so I figure I'm just going to build up these walls. That is going to be the easiest way for me to do this. Um, I probably should have thought about this beforehand, and I could have saved myself hi, uh, a lot of digging out this area. But, you know, I like resources and things. Uh, so I'm going to build up all of these walls. Maybe it'll give you guys a better idea of what I'm trying to do this whole room. Um, so let me get this done. It's literally just repetitive block placement. It shouldn't take me too long. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. See, this is much better now. Now I have a better idea of how this is going to look, and I have some, you know, blocks to place other blocks against, because that was going to be a real pain if I didn't do that. I would have had to scaffold from the floor, and that was not going to be fun. Uh, I didn't carry... Hi, Thunder? Hello? Hello? Um, I didn't carry it all up to the ceiling just because I didn't feel the need, because our stairs don't start there. And cat, no, Cash, no, that's not how I want to do it, no! Dang it, no, no, I'm going to push you off. No. No. <laughs> no, Cash. Bad Cash. <laughs> I wanted to, I told her, I want to use slabs. I want to use slabs for this bit, because I don't want it to be uh, too stair-like in a way. Oh, but I see what she's doing. <laughs> I see what she's doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about this, did we? No, we didn't. 
Um, yeah, I kind of want to use slabs uh, because I don't want it to be too uh, too boxy. I don't want to use actual stairs. I want everything to kind of slope down more like that, and then we'll take it down a level, and then take it down a level, and do it like that. See, see, cash look better. It's better this way. Trust me. So we're gonna we're gonna talk, me and you, cash. We're gonna talk, and uh, we're gonna do this together because we're 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 buds, right, cash? <laughs> it's like she cannot hear me, guys. I swear to God. <laughs> um, but let, let's get this done. Hopefully, we do this better. I do, like I said earlier, I want it to kind of get smaller as it goes, but I think it's going to be easy. <laughs> I think it's going to be easier. No cash. I think it's going to be easier uh, to get the first stairs in and then actually bring them in further, and then we can build the walls a bit more like that. It's going to be a long project, guys. I'm, I'm not lying. This is going to take a very, very long time. And I'm not going to finish it today. This is just like laying the groundwork, as it were. So I've templated these pathways that are going to start at the top of our, you know, mine and work their way all the way down to the bottom, uh, ending up there. But don't worry about that, because this is all going to change. Because I'm, I'm looking at this, and I like the way it turned out. I just want these paths to be more tightly compact. Right now, it's really, like, it does almost two complete loops. It starts there, circles one time around and then comes down again, ending there. I want more of these. I think there's just too much space in between these levels. Uh, in a perfect world, I think I would want no more than 10 blocks here, and that is just way too much. So what I think I'm going to try to do is actually get these platforms in place first. I want them on all the sides to be really flat like I have here, and I want them to kind of be like the work area entrance. If there was like a mine shaft entrance here, I want this to be a little bit wider. Uh, wider out. And the other reason I need to just completely tear all this out is because, like, the path below us is directly below us. There's no uh, curving inward. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, get specifically this platform and that platform in, connect them up so it's a more shallow path, not as steep as this one, and then fill it all the way down to the bottom with stone. Um, and that way, as I work my way around and I come back to this area, like, all that there would be filled in with stone. I come back here and I have to curve it in a bit more. Uh, it may look good. It may look horrible. I don't know yet. Uh, I just got to play around with it. And I'm fine with doing that. I knew this project was going to take me a long time because I really want this place to look really cool and really impressive. Uh, so I'm going to tear all this out and hopefully start over playing with it, playing with it until I have some kind of final result. So I'll probably come back once I at least get the path to this point done. Hopefully. We'll see. See you soon. So last night I finished up uh, doing uh, some work inside the mines, did the spiral stuff, and it looks pretty good so far. A lot of work still to do. Uh, but I was messaged by several people uh, from the time I went to bed to the time I woke up this morning uh, saying to record as soon as I came online. And that could only mean one thing, and that's Cable's gotten some payback uh, for our prank in the last episode. Um, and knowing Cable, he's done one thing. He has put a statue of himself somewhere. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here, which is good. I really didn't want a statue in here. Uh, is there one in the mines? I don't want to... Eh, probably not. Probably not. I was in there all day yesterday. Uh, I just don't know where he would have put this thing. There's like a whole bunch of small rooms in our base, uh, but no big areas other than this. Uh, let's go down to the hot springs. I haven't been down there in a while, so he could have easily put something in here. Let's take a look. I really love this room, and I don't come down here nearly enough. Man, this place turned out really well. Um, so it's got to be outside. It's got to be outside. And, yep, I didn't close this hole, so let's go out this way. Right into our smelter area. And, yeah, there, there, there it is. There's the cable statue, like I knew. Is that a chicken? There's a lot of chickens. Oh, cable. Jeez, dude, you, like, did this all... Mm, did this all overnight. All the chickens with arrows, though. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. I pranked him with chickens. He pranks me with chickens. That's a lot of materials, though, uh, for a prank. But you know what? It's cool. I knew this was going to come. I knew he would prank me. I didn't think it would be this fast, though. Uh, that's some good work there, Cable. Good job. But there's one problem with Cable statues. You know, this is his avatar, in-game character, but it doesn't look a lot like Cable. And I know what Cable looks like in real life. So we're going to make a slight modification to this guy, and all it's going to take is a little bit of wool. Good thing I have a sheep farm. Uh, let's see, where's my beacon for this place? There it is. 
Uh, so yeah, we just need a little bit of brown wool and some white terracotta, I believe. So let's grab some brown wool. And I think I left a bunch of materials in one of these chests from when I was building the sheep. Yep, white terracotta. Good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, so let me make some modifications to this cable statue. Uh, make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, like the real guy himself. Uh, so let, give me a few minutes. It shouldn't take me long at all. And I will be with you in a second. So before I show you this amazingness that I've done to this cable prank that he did, I just got to say this about this prank. If you've watched Cable's video on this, just know that is not how it happened. Cable did some editing trickery to make it seem like he pranked me before I revealed the grand scale plan of my prank. That did, that did not happen that way at all. Cable is a dirty, rotten liar. That's right. I'm calling you out, Cable. You are a liar, and everybody knows it. But let's, let's show this first, because I think this looks so much more like Cable Guy. Just, yep, yeah, that's, that's Cable. There he is. You're welcome, Cable. Love you, bud. <laughs> I think it turned out great. Just, uh, you know, uh, not so much hair on top and a lot more on the face there. <laughs> um, yeah, I had to do it. I couldn't resist. I just absolutely could not resist. Uh, but let me show you now uh, the inside of our new mines. Uh, I still have a ton of work to do, uh, but this is much, much better than what I originally showed. Before, it only had little one little kind of cross area there, and now I think there's four? Five that will go underneath this pillar that's going to be here. Now, I don't think I'm going to carry it all the way down to the floor. But imagine now, like, a stone pillar. I think this platform's going to come out a little bit longer. And it's just going to be like this gradual arch that comes down this way. So maybe around there. Uh, I do have to do a bit of work, though, connecting this up. Uh, because, you know, circles and Minecraft don't get along, I have to kind of mold all of these layers now into the walls itself. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard or difficult I just gotta I'm what I plan on doing is following these paths and just trying to find out a spot on each level to like break through so for this one it's probably gonna be around this level somewhere around here uh, I'll bring the path uh, connecting it up back there and into here uh, so it's gonna be a little bit ob oblong shaped in this side right here um, and I may or may not try to smooth out the other edges to match that a bit more but if not honestly I'm not too fussed about it I think it'll look fine either way uh, so I'm going to get cracking on that. Uh, hopefully it looks a lot better than this does right now. Because right now it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I found that using the um, the granite really helped out in finding out the, the path of everything. And I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, not every corner is kind of the same. And yeah, I like it that way. And it's all probably going to end up changing anyway. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot to do. This is probably going to be a long one or two episodes. I haven't decided yet. I'm leaning towards two episodes. Maybe get the base layer work done in here first and wrap it up and then work on decorating this whole mess. Uh, but I'll do some progress and I'll be back in a little bit. I finished connecting up all of these pathways now, guys. And I'm mostly happy with it, uh, less so with the bottom two. It's just really hard to get that circular shape to keep going as the circle gets tighter because it gets progressively smaller. Uh, so I think I'm going to come back through and, and try to curve these bottom two ones out a little bit more. Uh, but what I really wanted to show right now was how these overhangs are going to work that I don't think I've talked about. I had this plan the entire time. Our walls are not going to be flat. Uh, it's going to have some texture to it, just like we have in the rest of our base. And it's almost going to happen naturally. You can see how, because of where that path started to connect up the wall down here, it's just a natural overhang. So I need to do this all the way around and all the way down. Um, it's going to be, in some spots, easy. Like right here, for example, if we had uh, this path a little bit wider here, uh, then you can see I'm going to have to connect up... Falling. I'm going to have to connect up this bottom bit here. So do, 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 something like that, you know. Just plop down blocks. You know, it's going to have an overhang all the way around. It might come down a little bit lower in spots, higher in others. Um, and then I actually liked that I had some spots where it kind of was the opposite to where it's just a pillar that stops a little bit early. I think that'll look pretty good. Uh, it's going to help because spots, this path just gets a little narrow. Even though it's like three wide in every direction from the wall, like I did everywhere else, this just seems really cramped. So adding in a couple more blocks and even then some over, adding a bit of overhang underneath, I think it'll look really good. Uh, I did start templating out, you know, this pillar that I want to do in here. I keep calling it a pillar. I'm not sure if that's the best way to describe it because it's not going straight down. Uh, but I think I want to go with this kind of 
bigger arch here. This one just didn't work out all that well. And this isn't going to be going straight up either. It's going to keep going out and then come up back in. I just think it'll look a little bit better, a little bit more circular, a little bit more natural than a <laughs> sheer flat wall. Uh, but this part right here, doing all this all the way around this place, is going to take a very long time and going to take a lot of stone. Uh, one thing that I did, I don't know why I did this, but there's like a whole bunch of false walls back here. I just pillared up from the floor to do all this, so I can reclaim all that. But that's going to take a long time. I think I'm actually just going to raid my stores. Uh, and then after we actually finish decorating this place, I'll go back in there and, and reclaim all that stone. Because we still got to build a mountain above this place. It's going to take a long time. Um, but I, I'm going to need a lot of help on this. Cash is really good at this. She did a lot of the stuff inside our central ring we have up top. You know, our lava bowl area, which is so great. It's glorious. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do all of this. I'm just going to go super long build mode. It's going to take me a couple days to do because this is going to be a pain. Uh, and me and Cash are in vastly different time zones, so yay, all the fun. We can't bounce ideas off like we usually do. Uh, so I'm going to do this, and I'll see you guys once it's all done. So it's been a hot minute since my last recording, guys. Working the hours I've been working and playing lots and lots of Valheim with my friends has, uh, you know, severely limited my ability to play this amazing game known as Minecraft. But speaking of Valheim, I thought about maybe doing a series. So let me know what you think about that. It, Even though I'm playing with my friends, I think I could easily do a single-player series. There's, uh, you know, not a whole lot of content with that game, especially early on, um, but things are coming, but it does have a really unique kind of build style with it, and I think I can possibly do some pretty cool things in it. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but in here, I have done quite a bit. I have widened out a vast majority of these paths before they were only three wide. This one, I think, is actually the longest at six. And for the most part, it stays a pretty consistent five all the way around. There are other parts that are four and some that are six, like up here. Uh, but I, it looks a lot better than it did. Um, I did connect up. I don't think I showed it last clip. Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's been that long. Uh, to where, uh, I connected up essentially all these levels now. Uh, it's not all that noticeable, especially from this angle. On the opposite side, and especially on a little platform up there, you can tell. I can tell, because I, I did it, so I know what was there before. Uh, so I don't know if it's just my own personal bias on this, that I knew it was there, so I know what it used to look like. I don't know. I'm rambling now. Uh, but I've also done all this overhang bits all the way around to the bottom. And I actually really like kind of where I'm going with this bottom bit here, to where this is all going to be like rubble that's fallen in, like stuff that's fallen down the hole and it just collects up here. So a lot of this is going to be cobble and things. Uh, but what I also want to do in here is incorporate like ores. This is a mine. We want to have ores in the wall. So we're not going to be going with a black stone palette like we have up in our main room. This is all going to be like a gray, stony, andesite, cobble kind of thing in here. Uh, it'll just look better with the ores. If this was 117, that'd be a whole other story because there's a whole bunch of new kind of ore blocks and things that we can incorporate in here, but we're not there and we're not going to be there this season, so we'll, we'll make do with what we have. Uh, this episode is actually getting a little bit long despite the fact it doesn't feel like I've done much. Uh, so I wanted to do one more thing before we wrapped it up, and I've started doing it here, and that's kind of trying to get rid of this granite. A lot of people have seen this. I've shown this to a couple friends in pictures. They're like, what's with the granite? And I'm like, it's just there so I can see some contrast. So we're going to get rid of that right now. And we're going to just go with cobble and maybe some other blocks in a little bit. I'm probably just going to go with all cobble and then do some stuff and things later on. But I also wanted to fix things like this. Uh, these straight lines I need to get rid of. So I've done a few of them. I think particularly lower down. But this upper level, yeah, just lots of flatness. And it's a really easy easy way to get rid of this. All I really do is push the previous level back a bit, like this, and then that kind of takes care of itself, really. It gets rid of those flat edges, which is nice. That looks a little... I might actually do something like that, maybe that? I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll play with it a lot. Uh, so I, wanna, I just want to see this place, really, uh, with the granite gone, because that's the thing that's kind of making my brain hurt a little bit on how this place is going to look, and it's making other people's brains hurt. So uh, let's just get rid of it all. So I'll be back once this is done. I'll probably have other blocks incorporated into it. We'll see. I don't know yet. We'll see how much time I get to, to play around with this. And we are back, guys, and I'm liking this. I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. I think I need to tone down the cobble a little bit. I do want it to be the predominant block on this path. Uh, I just think it needs a bit more, maybe some gravel, but because this is all, like, fake floor... Actually, that's not fake floor. I thought there was some fake floor in here. 
Ah, I knew it. There it is. Um, gravel would be a little bit of a pain. And I also couldn't put it on these kind of half blocks. So I have to figure out a nice, like, tactical way of doing this. Uh, but I think it's looking out pretty good. I did even widen certain parts of the path a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have to come back through and, like, extend those little overhang bits. Like, that That section right there just looks weird. Um, so I'm probably going to do that off camera in between episodes because this is a lot of work. I have so much more to do here, so I'm not even sure if we're going to be back here in the next episode. I, hang on a second, gotta kill, gotta kill that guy. Oh, wow, that was bad, Sober. There we go. Um, I'm not even sure if we're going to be back here next episode. Uh, I want to finish this place, but I have other things I want to do too, and this episode just took way too long to record, mostly because I was working way too much in my real life job. Uh, so I have other things I want to take care of in the next episode. I might come back here, not sure yet, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today. Let me know if you want me to start a single-player Valheim game, because I think that could be really, really fun. Uh, but until next time, you guys have a good one.